Shockers lose today for the first time all season to Kentucky, and this is our final video. It kind of sneaks up on you. I'm Bob Lutz, uh, columnist, Wichita Eagle, Paul Sullentrop, Shocker beat writer. What happened? Well, I think Kentucky's just their talent. If you, you got to give it to them. I mean, Julius Randle, you know, there aren't maybe, is there another team in the nation that can match up with him? Maybe there's one or two. Wichita State just doesn't have those kind of athletes, and I think he really played well in the second half, and the Harrison twins, and not much separated these two teams, but I think ultimately in the end it was Kentucky had a few better players. We've both seen a lot of college basketball games. This is certainly one of the top uh, top games I've ever covered, ever seen. It wasn't a matter of Wichita State not playing poorly. I think they take that away from here. And I think that's one of the major reasons why there wasn't a lot of gloom and doom in their locker room and on the podium after the game. Yeah, I, I would agree because that was noticeable, especially when I went back and you know listening to the tapes and reading the transcripts. They were not, uh, you know, I, I'm sure they're devastated. They're not as devastated as maybe they would have been losing in a, in a different manner. Wichita State really played well, and I think they played against a team that is, you know, they just had the bad fortune to go against a team that's really figuring things out here in March. Clay Anthony Early was just outstanding today with, with 31 points, 24, of course, in the Final Four last year against Louisville, a very good opening round game the other night. This uh, NCAA tournament, the spotlight really seems to fit him. Yeah, well, for two years, he's been the guy who is kind of the the difference between Wichita State being a really, really good team and an, and an elite team because he can do all those things. He's an elite-level athlete, a uh, great scorer, and he, he's the guy that really elevates them, and it will be interesting to see how you know, how they replace that, that, that skill of his. Amazing to see the Shockers, who we all talked about leading up to this game, we're going to have to battle uh, Kentucky's size and athleticism. I thought they battled it about as well as they could, about as well as you can battle that with Kentucky. Yeah, they shot the ball really well. It didn't seem to affect them a whole lot there. Uh, maybe Fred Van Vliet did not, not get some of those three-pointers off of ball screens that he does a lot of times because Kentucky is so big. Uh, Kentucky out-rebounded him, but you know, it was basically a draw. You know, Kentucky certainly did not dominate with their size. Kentucky wins it 78-76. Shockers finish this remarkable season at 35-1. and and we will see you next season.